is, a, I don't think the public gets an idea of the amount of stolen property that's routinely goes through the street drug use. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There is an investigation that the officers uh, on the Rainier Police did the last uh, two months. Uh, they were assisted by the Taunton Police and by loss prevention of CVS pharmacies. And uh, they had received information that there was an organized group of uh, people stealing from uh, basically what we found out was 28 different stores uh, from as far away as Saugus uh, and going to this uh, one individual that we're alleging uh, used this stuff and sold it on eBay and he sold it at flea markets around uh, Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Uh, the the uh, investigating officer on this was Detective David LaPlante, did a real good job on this. We've seized uh, uh, over $100,000 worth of material. Um, uh, we uh, are alleging that approximately uh, $46,000 has been sold on eBay in the last few months. Uh, we're alleging that the Every single state, with the exception of Alaska, was targeted. Uh, people bought stuff from. We have the receipts from that, so we're going to present that in court. Stuff that was that went through eBay that we can document. It's about half, three quarters of an inch thick. The, uh, there were dozens of drug, uh, what we believe to be drug-dependent people, bringing material to this gentleman, which he was getting about 25. He was given about 25 cents on the dollar to the drug-dependent uh, people, and he was selling it for about 50 cents on the dollar. Usually, everything that's stolen is traded directly for drugs and, and, and just goes back into the system, so there's no, there's no hoard like this. There's no cash. But this is what goes on constantly all the time. Now keep in mind, they're only getting 25 cents on the dollar. So if their drug habit is 100, 200, 300 dollars a day, they have to steal four times that amount to make up the money.